King News. Oh no. See what court has just decided over Rochas Okorocha. Don't forget that APC screening is already on. Nobody knows exactly who is after Rochas Okorocha because one of his cry and plea is that he will not, if he, he being in custody, will not avail him the opportunity to be able to carry out the screening and participate in the presidential election of the All Progressive Congress. Well, that was his plea, asking that you know he be granted bail. Rocha Sokorocha is now you know being treated like one of the common criminals. Welcome to a country where you know things fall apart and um, those who you think you know are leaders and should be you know leading the country in the right direction some of them have other you know other things of their sleeves that they are doing and they cannot be bothered in terms of declaring for truth and justice and ensuring that Nigeria is on the right path. These are some of the days upon us and why we all cannot afford to be quiet and silent at the face of all that is happening. It is about time we begin to re-examine you know, the, the, our belief system and begin to put things in place and ensure that every one of us come out of the present predicament and things that you know, have heard us down and back in the past. You know, some of the things that are going on are clear indications of what our value system have been previously. Uh, see what the court decided about our very own brother, Rocha Sokorocha, today. Court ordered deten detention of Rocha Sokorocha in EFCC court study. A federal high court in Abuja has ordered the detention of Rocha Sokorocha in the custody of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC. Justice Eyago Eko gave the order on Monday after Rocha Sokorocha and his ally, Anyi, were chingere, we are reeled alongside five companies on a 17 count money laundry charge filed by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. The five companies include the, the Naftali International Limited, Perfect Finish Multi Project Limited, Console, Console Project Consultant Limited, Profile International Limited, and Legal World Con Concept Limited. Justice Eko, however, adjourned till Tuesday after the hearing of the bail application of Rocha Sokorocha and Chingere. Okorocha, through his lawyer, Ola Olakupo San, has on Friday approached the court on liberal terms, but the request was torn down by the court. He was alleged to have launched lodged funds to the tune of 2.9 billion naira Y7 as the governor of Imo State. Rocha Sokorocha was also accused of refusing to stand his trial, which led to the anti-grief storming his residence on Tuesday to arrest him and whisk him into their custody. The ex-governor, however, pleaded not guilty to the charges filed against him. He is to remain in custody despite the fact that APC primary elections clearance has started already screening is ongoing for those who have indicated interest to become to serve in the office of the president however rocha sokorocha may not be able to participate fully in that regard as court has just given an order that he should remain in court study so this is what is happening right now rocha sokorocha may not be able to participate, may, okay, still conditional in the very said elections. He may be, may not be able because right now um, EFCC has taken him away. As if that is not enough, his lawyer tried to, you know, get bail for him. However, the bail has been denied. The bail has been denied. Uh, the likes of, uh, you know, Atiku Abubaka, who should also, or Tinubu, who should also be investigated. They, they, they know who they go after. They can't go after everybody. Yeah, in case you are wondering, no, they can't go after everybody. They can't go, they go after some people. Okay, uh, just, it happens that Roger Sokorocha is not, uh, is not uh, in the lines of those who are above the EFCC. Uh, so EFCC can trade him, you know, and disgrace him and do whatever. 
Okay, we are not saying that those who have committed crime should not be dealt with. That's not what we are talking about. But in this country, we know all of them. Okay, to a large extent, we know a good number of them who have committed one crime or the other. But guess what? Those ones, they get a pass. Okay, they, those ones, they get a pass. And those who continue to, you know, who are there, pretend as if they don't know any of such things that are going on. They keep quiet and they allow, you know, those who are, you know, destroying this nation in no small way to continue. So these are some of the things happening. And the best time to have made a difference was many years ago. The second best time is now. Okay, and so that's why every one of us must begin to rise up to the occasion and, you know, do what is necessary and right. So at the end of the day, as a country, we are free. Okay, we are free. You know, many of the people, many of them, right from the presidency, many of them, okay, they, are, they all have their hands dirty. It's not just Rocha Sokorocha. There are many of them out there. And so Rocha Sokorocha should not be the only one being picked. Every one of them should be picked. Every one of them should pay okay for destroying this nation every one of them should you know pay for the consequences of the things that they have done to this nation so that nigeria can move forward you know the occurrence and things that are going on clearly reveal to every one of us that you know it, it, it's 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 a very shameful it's very shameful things that we allow in this country it's very shameful and that's why we cannot say uh, we cannot afford to be quiet at a, at you know at a, at a spark of you know insecurity, no jobs, things going from bad to worse, and then we pretend as we are silent. No way, no way. We must speak out. We must speak out. And God will help us. You see, God will help us. So these are some of the reasons why none of us can be quiet, and then uh, we must speak out. Which as Okorocha, as you as you and I can see, they said you know he needs to. Is being reminded in custody of the DSS to pay for the consequences of some of the actions he has taken in time past. You know, so this is why he's been reminded in custody. We'll keep you up to speed as the matter unfolds. Remember that every one of us have got a real part to ensure that we speak out. Okay, we must speak out so that we get the best of candidates. We get the best of candidates to bring us, you know, into that desired position. Yeah, Nigeria can truly, we can truly say we have a nation of integrity and, you know, self-worth. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.